now we're going to go ahead and create some labels and I wanted to sort of show you what those um, are going to be. So we're going to create them down here, the uh, label for date and a label for scale. Um, but <clears throat> I wanted to show you a, another title block and here it is with the text we just created and also with the um, labels. And what happens, uh, the difference between those when you get it into the project, which I'm going to show you right now, is that the text will always be the same on every sheet, right? But the scale and the date will update based on um, your project parameters and also the sheet. And then what you can do is this is obviously um, the sheet is connected to that. So if I were to change this to plan instead of plans, it will update over here. So you have this sort of bi-directional um, associativity that goes with these guys. And it creates a data connection that allows you to um, make schedules and things like that. So you can have like a view list that reads all of your views and you can have a sheet list that reads all of your sheets. Um, and if I go back to my plan notation, everything is consistent, right? Um, the other thing is the sheet number is also here um, and we're going to create that. So that's pretty much what we're looking at. And then again, you can have project address and project name and all sorts of stuff that updates as well. All right, so let's go ahead and add those labels. Um, so first the date. So it's the same process, just slightly different. So if I go to the Create tab, there's a label right next to the text. And I create a label. I just click on that. And it wants me to, to know where I want to place it. So I'm just going to come over here. We can move it later, but I'll just place it kind of underneath the date. And when you left click, it brings up this Edit Label dialog box. And so basically what these are, are they are shared parameters that are shared between the title block and the project. And you can come down and select a date. So there's a bunch of different date options. Um, we're going to pick the project issue date. And if you highlight that, you can move it over to the right. So I'm going to move it over. And it's going to give me the parameter name and the sample value. So I'm just going to come over here in the sample value and, and back up. And <clears throat> get rid of project issue date. I'm just going to put issue date. And then click OK. And it puts that issue date out there and it has a tag label. So we had note last time and so we're going to need to update that. So I'm just going to come over here to edit type again and I'll rename it. You can keep the name of tag if you want to and I'll name it CG eighth of an inch again because I want it to be the same. And unfortunately you have to make a different one. You can't use the text one because this is a different animal. So I'm going to come in here and Century Gothic, right, and I'll change this to eighth of an inch and click OK. And so now that guy is set up there. Um, a couple of things that you want to do, like if you wanted the issue date to be next to the date, you can bring it up here. And again, size the text box appropriately, you know, so it won't run off of the off of the sheet. Or and then we're going to do the scale now. So same process, create label, and just sort of left. You can left click. You can see it wants to align things. It likes to likes to do that. And then if you scroll down, you'll get a scale. Okay, and you can move that over to the right and click OK. And it's going to show you an example of eighth of an inch, but it will update uh, based on the view that's placed on that sheet. Right, so you can do it that way. I think I had mine up on top, but you know, just arrange it however you want. Maybe these guys, you know, get moved up so they're closer. And then the last thing I want to do is create a sheet number. So again, I'll go through and go to create and text and we'll use that Century Gothic and I'll just type in sheet number and then I'll come and create a label and this I want to be significantly larger so um, what I'm going to do is create a new type. So we have the eighth of an inch. I'm going to create like, I don't know, maybe a three eighths of an inch. So I'll go to edit type and I'll duplicate. 
this tag and we'll make this 3 8 of an inch and I'll change the text size to 3 8 and click OK and then I'll come in and, and just place it here and I want to come over and get the sheet name so basically you're creating um, the text type I created the text size and now it wants to know what parameter I want to put on here oops I want the sheet number not name right and then I'll click OK and it puts that in and I can come and kind of move this guy here and I probably want this one centered right so a horizontal align over here let's center that so it'll grow from the center maybe I want it to be gray um, or something like that maybe I need it to be a little bigger so I go to edit type and I decide that I want it to be half an inch and then I rename it to accommodate that size Oh, and get rid of the two, which would be nice. Click OK, click OK. So maybe I'm happy with that. OK. All right, when we come back, um, I'll go ahead and do some hatching um, and maybe a few more lines and things like that.